Well, when a weekly sales video starts with one of the best games of all time, you know it's going to be a good one. Congratulations to the winner of the free game last week. He actually got his copy of Prince of Persia and was a delighted man. So yeah, happy days. If you'd like to win a free game, just leave your comments down below and we'll choose someone. Here's the winner from last week's video. Make sure you don't pay full price on any of these reductions. I mean, that doesn't make any sense, but make sure you don't pay the asking price. Do save yourself 5% more by using switchup.gg and code switchup to buy your eShop credit. We do support Canada now and obviously America and a lot of the European regions as well. What are the best games on sale? Well, my name is Mark Walker. Welcome back to Switch Up. Now, let's find out. First up, we have a matching best price ever on one of my favorites, that being Everspace, the Stellar Edition, which was developed and published by Rockfish Games. This is a fantastic twist on a genre that I love anyway. It's a roguelite in space. And basically how that works is each time you go on a run, you're navigating across different star systems. You get to choose the route that you take. But within each one, it's almost like its own encapsulated stage encapsulated. Yeah, I'm going with it. There are different missions to undertake. There's lots of hidden stuff. So you might find like an abandoned wreck of a ship and you can spelunk your way through it and find various items. And the combat's also very good. Now, the only critique that I had about the game was some of the controls. Now, you have to set the controls up just right, and we do have a guide to that actually in our full review, so go check that one out. But once you've done that, my goodness, is it a glorious game to play, and hopefully we'll get Everspace 2 on the Switch 2 or whatever comes after this one. The sale price then, £8.99 or your regional equivalent, that's 75% off on Everspace, the Stellar Edition, until February the 21st. Then we've got the really interesting little indie called Haven. Now, this one I had no real idea of what to expect, and I kind of like that. You know, when you look at a game and you're like, that's interesting, don't know what it's going to be like, but I want to play it. And basically, you're playing as two people who are in a romantic relationship, and they try and escape a place. Now, I'm being very careful not to spoil things, but the, the brunt of the gameplay involves a mixture of the relationship side, so you're on your ship, you're just doing the mundane, you know, chatting, cooking, eating, there's the conversations together. But then on the other side of it, you're kind of almost free flowing through this world, clearing out the, I think it was called the rust or something like that. It's basically an excuse to just glide around. There's like a grinding mechanic so you can traverse distances and move across sections of the map. And look, it's not a perfect game. I think some of the gameplay mechanics are a little bit tedious, like clearing off all that rust stuff. But then you'll find like an abandoned building and it'll have a whole story segment attached. You'll have a boss fight in there where you have to kind of cooperate between the two characters to do damage. And yeah, it was quite clever in that regard. And I think it's a good game. What I will say is I'm recommending it now specifically because it's t it's its cheapest ever price, down 60%. And I think this is a, a very good price actually for what they're asking. So Haven is £8.39 or your regional equivalent and that's until February the 16th. As I'm sure you know if you've been around the channel for a while my daughter has made it very clear that any game to do with cats is instantly one that I have to cover and we've been sponsored for this episode by the publisher of the new release Fit My Cats which is a 2D logic game that has an interesting hand-drawn illustrated style and as the title suggests if you don't get confused and think it's some kind of workout for cats Fit My Cat involves trying to fit your little kitties into a box <laughs> in, uh, in a very humane way, I have to say, to find them a nice comfy seat. Now, as you go on, the puzzles get more difficult. There are in fact 90 to solve and the cats come in different shapes, colors and sizes to make things more tricky. It has a lovely little soundtrack, this, and you might want to join my daughter in picking it up. All the prices are on the screen and it launches on the 16th. Thanks once again to the publisher for sponsoring this episode. Now, I actually picked up Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age, on Switch, on sale, like a couple of years back. But it's finally matching that cheap price, down 60%. And honestly, I think it's one of my favourite in the series. I was always the weird person that liked Final Fantasy VIII, and it was nice playing this on Switch with the HD visuals and the upgraded sound, etc. Compared to the older games, it does have that more action-heavy combat style, but it still keeps a lot of what made the older combat, you know, for me, 
potentially better. This one uses a job system, so you're picking a couple of jobs from, I think it's one of 12, and it's finding the synergies there that make you know the best and most powerful class. Where Final Fantasy always excels is in its musical score, and this is no exception. This has an absolutely great soundtrack, and worth adding if you're a JRPG fan, that one's on sale until February the 12th. One in the EU then, before we have a look at one in the US, is Hades. Now Hades is down, matching its cheapest ever price, to £11.24. One of Supergiant Games is greatest releases if not their best although I have to say some of the Savaloys are super giant games and I think for the price at least are offering just as much as this it's an action roguelite defeat all the enemies in a room choose your next path and that will give you an idea of what rewards you're going to get in that area and then move on to eventually beat a boss push through the whole game and then each time you restart the story builds up and you build up that start area as well improving the things that you've got it's very cool very good game indeed and if for whatever reason you haven't played it you should definitely check out our full review on that one the us sale then the one that we don't have over here in the eu is the dying light definitive edition at 80 percent off a really good price down to nine dollars 99 and one of my favorite games on the platform. In fact, one of my favorite games full stop. It's a first person parkour zombie fest. So you can find like old rusty pipes and use those as your weapons, but then you can end up with them like electrified and stuff like that. You can climb up the side of any building. But what happens is at night time, basically all the real nasty, nasty cretins come out. It feels a bit like, you know, um, I Am Legend, where he walks into that building and he sees them all just kind of standing there. You're basically being chased and pursued at night time by those types of creatures. I don't know about you, I don't really like scary things and I can play this one throughout the daytime but then I have to literally head back to the main base and rest at night time because I can't be handling that. But what you'll find is that you're actually forced to go out at night at certain times, which is fair enough, but I, uh, yeah, as much as I can avoid that, I will. There's a load of DLC for this one that adds in entirely new areas. In fact, I'm likely to use the DLC for some of the thumbnails because it just looks so good. But yeah, great game in the US, well worth adding to your collection. If you can find a, a friend to play online co-op, even better, and an essential little pickup. The sale for that goes on until February the 28th. Okay, the first challenging one, I think, for those that like to go through these lists and think, I've played all of these games, I don't need to pick anything else up, and it's 30XX. This one's 25% off for the very first time, taking it down to its cheapest ever price of £13.49. I did a review of this, and it is cracking. Now, you've probably seen the game that came before this that was released on Switch, but this one released in a period where not many people covered it. Now, we did cover it, and there is a review out there if you want to go check it, but it takes that fluid fast movement that you'd find in an action platformer and then takes the best elements of a roguelite you've got a hub area where you can get better improve and then you go out on these these different runs now, if i remember correctly there's also a, a level editor of some description and i'm sure you can play people's creations online the different characters that you get all have different moves one focusing on power one speed and you can tweak the game's various systems to make it play the way that you want to i really enjoyed it I am wary, I think is the word, of a roguelite in a title now because I think sometimes, not always, but sometimes it can be used as a, a crutch, you know, to release something that doesn't potentially require, and again, not always, as much work. But here it's there to complement things and it does work really well. This one has off and online co-op. It's 1.4 gigs and as I say, the sale goes on until February the 25th. Okay then, we've reached the last, what, three or four of the expensive ones and this is always the most dangerous time because this is where we get to my personal pickups. The first of them is a game called Necro Barista Final Pour, which I hadn't heard of. And I did that deep thing of going to Metacritic and saying, hang on, this has got 90% from users. I'm going to pick that up. Plus the tagline, this is a story about death and coffee, absolutely hooked me. I absolutely love at least one of those things. It feels like a combination between an anime and like a proper movie. And as I've said to you in recent times, I've kind of got into a few visual novel style games and where it has this kind of stylized 3D, I really do like that. Now I'm a bit of a, um, I don't know what you would call it, someone that likes things that look good. But this is presented in beautiful fashion. It looks so much better than when you just have those, in my opinion, those static backdrops. It's got a cracking uh, soundtrack from the same guy that did uh, Made in Abyss, if you've played that game. It also has some unusual combinations, so it will put in like a first per I'm sorry, like a third person. No, it will put in a first person. I was right the first time. 
section where you're like walking around in that view and then it will switch out to a more traditional um, aspect uh, camera angle now i'd seen this drop in price before but this is by far the cheapest it's ever been and so far i mean i'll be honest i've played about 40 minutes i think it's absolutely fantastic i think it's really worthy of that 90 percent user score and that sale goes on until february the 20th next up then you've got hunter x now i only got this actually as a review code because it's a part of there's a the sequel to this has just released on switch but i wanted to play this one and see if you know how it fares at the moment it's half price and it's like a metroidvania and it's very good and i honestly never knew it was out on switch at all i'd never heard of it as is often the case with the storylines in these uh games it's a little bit out there you play as a young girl who decides to go off and hunt and kill demons i mean killing demons sounds good to me so i was all for it and i think i was just a bit surprised by how good the gameplay is it combines things that i love metroidvania it has souls elements big boss fights with the old giant health bar at the bottom of the screen you know the drill and it runs well on switch for what five pounds 64 that is a great little pickup if you can get it in your region and that sale goes on until february the 20th and i have to mention this one because it's such a good game and i don't say that lightly this is probably the best game on this list and the most surprising if you've not heard of it or played it it's called ast libra revision and it's close to being what i would say is you know almost and i and i know I, don't, I say i don't use this word but i have seemed to have used it a couple of times it has masterpiece qualities it's brilliant the way it starts out so it's like a side perspective jrpg like with action controls but the introductory like 15 minutes are some of the best storytelling i've seen in such a long time not only from the visual style like initially i wasn't quite sold on this visual but it really does have a certain something about it but the way that, that it's written just elevates it it's great you're in this like, um, it's, again, it's a very difficult one not to spoil, but you're in a location for a very long period of time. Your only companion is a crow and try as you might, you just don't seem to be able to leave this place and, and see another human being. But obviously it would be a lame story if it ended there. You eventually do and uh, yeah, it gets so strange. It has that like Donnie Darko vibe to it, but in a fantasy setting. Really good game. Shame it's not on sale in America. So apologies, you guys. Uh, maybe just add it to your wish list. The sale for As Libra Revision. That one goes on until February the 28th. Last but not least, then my little hidden gem is Luna the Shadow Dust. It's half price at the moment, and it's inspired by classic adventure games. But what makes it a win for me? is the relationship between the two main protagonists. It uses some really clever mechanics for its puzzles and has that almost silent movie style cinematic where it's all acted out on screen and you know exactly what's going on but no words are actually spoken. It has beautiful music as well. Really enjoy this. The color palette just makes your eyes happy. <laughs> I like that. But kind of, you know, has the, the vibes of something like Machinarium, a game where you, you play it and you're like, that was absolutely cracking. Hang on. No one said anything, you know, it, they didn't need to because it told its story in such a clever way. This feels like you're walking through a dream. It's the cheapest it's ever been. I really like to support little indies and this is a great little hidden gem. 50% off until February the 20th. Now you might have missed, we've actually had a couple of sales videos in the last week. We do a, every other week we do a midweek sales, so I'll pop a link to that one. There's loads of things still on sale and Glenn did that with me. So there's quite a few games, the kind of things that I potentially wouldn't pick up because I wouldn't really know about them. Things like Act Razor Renaissance is on sale at the moment and he loved that. So let's have a couple of Savaloys. It is a good week for Savaloys. Lots of cheap games, the price of an English Savaloy or your regional equivalent. Most notably, probably Transistor and Bastion. They're both 80% off. As I was saying at the start, Supergiant Games have you know other titles that are amazing and probably cheaper and these are those games they play out quite differently i think maybe i preferred well i actually preferred transistor initially and then having gone back to play bastion i think i now like this one more the red lantern is just 199 it's not an amazing game i know that's an unusual thing to say in a game you're recommending it's just like one of those almost like one and done even though it has an interesting mechanic whereby you're you have to sled across the game and you make decisions and you're trying to survive the balancing was a bit iffy to me but i still enjoyed it enough that for 199 and on a one and done kind of playthrough if i enjoyed this setting i'd be i'd be after it that one's 90 percent off yeah why have you not picked up red faction gorilla remastered yet 90 percent off still it's getting another mention it's too good for this price amazing adventure game with those action elements Blackguards 2 is far too good for this price, 90% off down to 
well, not much at all. It comes from Daedalic Entertainment, and it's like a turn-based strategy RPG, massive game. You build up an army and overthrow someone who's wronged you. But for that price, yeah, easy, easy addition. Blade of Darkness, aka Severance from back in the day. Brilliant game, three different playable characters, slicing the limbs off of trolls and stuff. Still holds up today. Really enjoyed playing this one again. That one's on sale at 90% off. Oh no, 80% off, sorry, until February the 26th. Last but not least, then we have the excellent Deflector, which had a patch actually recently, and it's down 91% until March the 2nd. It'll be familiar if you like things like Hades. It has that same kind of flow to it. There are three different gameplay modes here though, and you unlock different mechs. Those have different weapons, and the title deflector comes from the fact that you can basically deflect back the enemy's projectiles, and by doing so, you're going to do far more damage. Yeah, we've got a video of this one, you should check it out, it's a good game. Now, the game to avoid, we have got an avoid this week, and it is uh, an interesting one, because at least it tries to do something different, but unfortunately it's rubbish. It's Oni, Road to be the Mightiest Oni. <laughs> It's 60% off, which is the cheapest it's ever been, but unfortunately it really is a bad game. You basically rock up on an island and it's all based on Japanese um, mythos that you have the island of demons. I think it's called Kisajima, something like that. And it's where they go, I think they were, they were defeated by Momotaro and then they're summoned to this island to fight. It might not make much sense if you don't know the story, but the actual gameplay isn't good unfortunately. It's like a, a series of like little battles that you have to fight and it's so mundane, like so boring. The gameplay is incredibly dark. Oh, and the most annoying thing is that the soundtrack, the music, is like a male uh, singer and it's just cringy. And it plays over and over and it loops every like 45 seconds so you'll be literally just going mad on this island. Maybe that's the point of it. Maybe it's like an introspective experience about insanity. Wow, deep. Don't buy it, it's rubbish. So there we go. Thanks so much to all of you that have enjoyed today's video. As I said at the start, don't buy anything without supporting us by using code SWITCHUP over at switchup.gg to buy your eShop credit. You save some money, we've saved some money, and uh, everyone wins. Thank you to our Patreons, our members, and all of you that enjoy the content. For all things Switch, all the time, keep it SWITCHUP. Cheers, guys. See ya!